Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing Marathon 2 and it's going to be awesome. We have reached level 12, Bob's Big Date, and there is a very rapidly changing water table in here. Also, I have apparently just woke up some aliens. Ah! That's not a good thing. That means they may come around the edge and try to kill me. So let's shoot them with... We've got a plasma gun here, a fusion gun rather, and they're hunters, it looks like, again. It looks like we're fighting hunters again. And there's some stuff down there at the bottom of that lake, I think. I'm really not positive. Let's see what the terminal has to... Uh, no. Not just yet. No, it looks like they're not coming to me. Okay. They're somewhere off that way. Let's see what the terminal has to say. You're in the old bunkers underneath the Citadel of Antiquity. The royalty from each of the ten clans gathered here during the final days of the war in which the four enslaved the... I believe that their time of need, these ancients f found a way to contact the lost clan, but were killed before they could use it. Underground, you'll find two old f computers. Find them so I can download their data. We must discover what the warring clans learned after they were joined. I cannot accurately teleport you from a terminal this deep under the citadel, so you must find a position nearer the surface to minimize interference. So it looks like we are going to be moving up and down going to be trying to get to different uh, parts of this place in order to find what we're looking for. It also looks like there might be... no, it doesn't look like there's anything down here at the bottom. Oh, there is some Flicta, however, so let me get out of here. Thankfully, Flicta don't actually swim. They just run along the bottom. And that is a very large room, which has very wildly varying water table. Uh, let's not go in that room just yet. I will be back there later. I assume that we're going to have to go through, like, most of the doors in there. So, yeah. Oh, wait, and there's a... There's a terminal right here. How can you make Terminal number one. I will get in a moment. Terminal number one, get. What do you have to tell me? News of the... Uh, Sfut translator active. News of the destruction of Hura has saddened all. But there has been a meeting of the Olders for the first time in modern memory. If anything can save us from these aggressors, it will be the unification of the clans. So, yeah, the four invasion resulted in the unification of the clans, it looks like. And the end of a long war between them. A long conflict between the clans. Which is kind of understandable. You sort of hope that, you know, humanity would be willing to set aside their differences if we got invaded by an alien force that was out to enslave and or destroy us. That would sort of make sense. Ah! Shut you. And there's a two times health regenerator here. Regenerator here. Enunciation! I'm not good at it. I'm sorry. I need to work on that. Probably would help with my presentation quite a bit. Well, let's not use the fusion pistol because there's tons of water in here. Let's also not go down there yet. Let's go check some of these other doors. Which don't involve going down in to the bottom of a flicked infested room. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. Aha! Grenade you! And anything else in here? Oh, there's a terminal in here. Hooray! We found terminal number two! Terminal the second! Maybe very short. Oh, something teleported in. More shotgun and the grenades. Yay, grenades. Grenades are the best. Yes, they are. Alright, let's read this terminal. S Translator active. Before he disappeared, the master called the eleven olders. One by one, they came to him to hear his words. Each heard their clan names. Svtlar, Svtra, Svtnma, Svtka. Svtvir, Svtira, Svtval, Svtshur, Svtminer, Svtyar, Svtkur. Thus were the sacred clans given names and ranks, the eleven members and the eleven sacred clans. The final words of the master came to the elders. Don't mistake your rank and number for superiority. The oldest child may learn from the youngest. So that was presumably the usage of the, uh, the one who had created them, the Yarrow being giving them titles for each of their clans and a ranking system to understand which ones were oldest and which ones were youngest 
which would presumably make this Kerr the youngest of them, the lowest ranking, although it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know whether that's from lowest to highest or from highest to lowest. It's kind of debatable. And I don't think it really matters all that much. There are ten clans in the era that the four invaded in, but there were eleven clans in total, so one of them who we've heard mentioned before, because you remember it said, was said that they stopped on the moon and the moon was flung into space by the Yarrow? By Yarrow? That the, uh... Uh, hold on a second. I will be right back, because for some reason this game decided to go into a window again. I had forgotten it did that. Uh, just as a lesson to people, don't hit enter on those save screens. It will do this. I'll be right back, folks. And we're back. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that, actually. That felt really bad. I keep forgetting that it does that, because it hasn't actually had issues with that since I started playing the second game. But yes, if you hit, I think it's enter or return or something like that on those save screens, for some reason it toggles to windowed mode in a really strange resolution, and I don't know why. It's very weird. And I haven't been able to figure out how to reverse it without actually just quitting the game. But if you quit and reload, it reverses itself automatically, so... Oh. Ah. That is a fairly powerful hunter. A storm full of fusion bolts. Because I have plenty of fusion bolts. Ooh, more shotgun rounds. Shotgun rounds are very useful. I've mentioned that the shotgun is my favorite weapon in this game, and it's probably the most powerful other than the, uh... Missile launcher. I should really use this alien weapon I've been carrying around, but I haven't seen a place to get another one, so I'm a little hesitant to expend it. But it is quite good at what it does. Okay, switch. Good. One up and down. And whoa! Haha! You can't fight me because the water level. You are undone by water. <laughs> Unfortunately, so am I, because that's just a lot of Flicta. Thankfully, the Flicta are also trying to shoot goop at me and are getting foiled by water. Unfortunately, they can also melee me, and the melee actually hurts. Quite a lot. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Haha! -ha. Punch, punch, punch! I don't know where I'm punching them. They kind of have gigantic mouths, so I wouldn't think you would want to punch them in the mouth. That, I believe, is our exit terminal up there. Which is not where I'm going to go at this moment. Yeah, you can see the exit terminal is up there. I'm not going that way just yet. Because I have not finished exploring. Also, I'm going to save the game again. Even though I'm a little bit beat up. It's worth it to save at every available opportunity. Click OK so that the game doesn't freak out again. I don't actually need to do that. Oh crap. Did not actually need to do that. Now I have to wait for this to go back down. There we go. Ride the giant waterfall. Or not a waterfall. Wave! Ride the wave! Ride the waves. Man, you'll hear me see that say that phrase again later on. No, I'm not going to explain why. You'll get an explanation when I get there. Because I'm evil like that, okay? Well, you might get an explanation when I get there. We'll see how things go. <laughs> you might just never get an explanation at all! <laughs> I might be an evil jerk. That is a bunch more dudes who need to be punched. Punchy, punchy. Oh, that is a lot of dudes. That is more dudes than I feel comfortable punching. Unfortunately, I still don't have any weapons to actually shoot underwater. Thankfully, there is a... Ah, ah. No. Don't die. No die. No die. Not when there's a health recharge thing in the same room as me. Oh. <sighs> alright, alright. I deserved that, probably. Seriously, though, there's a health restore thing in that room. Unfortunately, I don't think you have any weapons that work underwater. 
at all. I, I don't recall there being actually being any weapons that work underwater. You can fire the plasma weapon underwater, the fusion gun underwater. I would not recommend it, because it will kill you. But I think it's the only one you can actually even fire underwater. You can't fire the grenades, you can't fire the shotgun. You're not going to fire that, and you can't fire the pistol. So your only option for weapons to use underwater is in fact fists. Which sucks, because using fists is actually kind of well, not very good, in all honesty. Alright, I'm going to run past these guys immediately, head in here, and stand on top of this thing where I can actually shoot stuff. Maybe. very hard to hit things which are half of their water. Thankfully, it's also very hard to be hit by things that are half of their water. Haha. <laughs> oh no. Shoot. Sink. Swim, shoot, swing. Sink. Swink? What the heck is swink? Swink sounds like a Pokemon or something. I don't even know. Uh, is there anything else over here? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Nothing in there. Alright, it's the- whoa! I forgot, that is a very long fall. I think that is where we came in, right? This is where we started, right? Yep, this is where we started. And there's a switch in here, which does something. I'm not entirely sure of what it does. Ah! I think it sets the water level low or something. I'm not positive. Let me go back through here. See if I can find that two times health recharger again. Which is, I think, in this room. It's in one of these rooms. Doo -doo -doo. There's a thing in there. Nope, it's not in this room. Hmm. It's maybe in that first room we started in. in here? I think it's in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Aha! Yes, it is. I'm going to find that two times health recharger, and I'm going to use it. Because dying sounds lame. Alright, let's try some other way. I think we've done everything. Oh, and there's some troopers down here, which I don't really need to fight. There's this four, or the the Flicta will do it for me, so I'll let them do it. <laughs> Letting enemies kill one another. The greatest of all uses for enemies. What? I think it's a great use for enemies. Let them fight each other and then kill each other so you don't have to waste ammo. Alright. Uh, whoop. Into that drink. And I believe this is the one. That was the way to get to the potential exit. Because I think we have now done everything here. I don't believe there are any significant secrets in the level, though I may need to go and check that. Let me save my game here. Number 50. And let me go and check and make sure that I am not missing anything. I will be right back. So, looking at my map, it looks like there's actually an exit to this large room I haven't actually taken yet. So it looks like we're going back through this large room to that side over there. Let's try and get in that exit. Because that, ah, is an exit that I haven't actually taken, and holy crap, that that was a lot of flicta. Ah, made it. So this is an area I haven't been in in this level. Ooh, and there's a times three health recharger. That is a very nice thing, about it, especially because I just took some damage. There is a times three health recharger in here, so we're going to use it. I'm going to use it, and you're going to watch me, because you can't stop me. <laughs> Also shut down. Ow, ow. You know, fighting me in the room with the three times health recharger is not really a good place to be fighting me. So I'm just gonna go and use it as soon as I finish killing. Alright, now I think we can safely get out of here. I think. Assuming I can get unstuck from the flicta. Alright, so is it here that leads to our exit? No. This one over here. Is it? Nope. This one has the. Yeah, that. Okay, uh. It's that one over there. 
This one here is, I believe, our exit. So we head up here, flip our switch. The pools have... Some of the small pools in the side rooms have ammo in them. I think I picked it all up, so if you've been following along, you probably have picked it up too. You just want to check out, check them out. And as you can see, there is that place over there. So let me take up my plasma gun, run across, and be a little bit careful because you get immediately jumped by enemies upon entering the room. And this is our exit terminal. And we have red now three terminals in this zone, so oh, okay. I think we are prepared to depart. Whoa. What? Where did you guys come from? No fair. Seriously, where did you guys come from? Anybody else? Want to just mysteriously and suddenly appear in this room? No? Okay, good. Now let's read this terminal and get out of here. Battle has been joined in orbit and Boomer is taking heavy damage. I cannot hold out for long, but the four will, have, will not soon forget the day I, that a lone corvette obliterated half of Battle Group 7, Western Arm. We're getting closer and I have learned much, but you must search even deeper underground. There are unstable magma intrusions in the geothermal shafts under the citadel. I can't pinpoint a safe shaft, but we'll have to take a chance and drop you down one. Let's hope this world's secrets are hidden in its bowels. So he's going to teleport us into a lava shaft that may or may not contain lava at the bottom of it and hope that we hit ground and not molten rock. I already don't like this plan. But what the heck? I haven't done anything stupid in the last 15 minutes. Let's go do something crazy. As soon as the level finishes loading. <laughs> uh, yay. Whoa. And hey, we actually managed to miss the lava. Ah. But I am being attacked. Ah, and I just fell in lava. Uh, that's not good. That means I probably just died. Because I don't think I can get out of the lava fast enough. Nope. <sighs> Alright, well. Holy crap, I managed to get out of the lava. With, like, almost no health. I don't think I'll continue from here, but... Shoot you. Shoot you so I can make a proper exit. Thing properly do my outro, jerk. Yeah, you're gonna come back and let me kill you? Or have you just run off? There you are. Die, die! Haha! -ha! Killed you! Alright, so we have reached level 13, I believe it is. 6,000 feet under. I think it's level 13. Might be level 12. Anyway, I have been Lucia. This has been awesome. I will see you guys next time when we take on the next level of Marathon. Until then, I'm bathing in lava! Woo!